majority of Nebraska's corn is now in the ground and emergence is well underway with 26 percent of the crop above the ground as of the latest USDA report. That means the plant is now susceptible to injury from certain kinds of insects. We talked with Bob Wright Monday about wireworms, white grubs and a variety of cutworms. Since cutworms can injure the corn within the first week of emergence, we started there by asking how farmers can scout their fields. The insects themselves aren't too much active during the day, but if you see feeding damage on the leaves or the, the stem is cut at the ground level, you want to dig around the soil and see if you can find a cutworm and uh, note the size of it. Uh, that's important in terms of how much longer it's going to be feeding, but it's really important to scout your field now as the corn emerges because cutworms can cause damage relatively quickly and uh, there is a rescue treatment available, so it is important to check and see if you need to treat uh, pretty soon. And all types of corn, all hybrids are fair game? Well, there are some, some of the BT corns are active against some of the cutworms, but not all the cutworms. And we have a lot of different types of cutworms in Nebraska, so it's, but it's safer to scout everything regardless. And the seed treatments as well can have some effect on cutworms, but high densities can overwhelm them. What are the treatments either if you're looking at the army cutworm or the black cutworm, what are the treatment recommendations or thresholds? Well, it's basically somewhere in the range of uh, three to four percent cut plants with the value of corn we have now would be a treatable level. Uh, again, you want to make sure the cutworms aren't very large, like over, over an inch long, because they may have already done all their feeding. But there, and there are several different insecticide options, uh, primarily the, the uh, pyrethroid insecticides or products containing Lorsban would be good against cutworms. The weather we've had, is it conducive, more conducive, less conducive, doesn't make a difference? Oh, it doesn't so much make a difference. Uh, usually if it's really cold and the corn is growing slowly, it's, it's in a susceptible stage longer. Now that we're getting some warmer weather, that's going to get the corn growing faster, which will help. Let's move into some other things that are more difficult to control this season, wireworms especially. What am I supposed to be looking for there? Well, typically uh, uh, some of the early season pests can cause lack of emergence or damage plants that when they emerge. So uh, if you have a poor stand, you'd want to dig around and where plants should be and see if you can find the seeds, see if it germinated and got killed, or if it's uh, deformed, maybe there's an insect below ground that's feeding on it. Unfortunately for wireworms or white grubs, there's no rescue treatment. So right now the only decision would be whether to replant or whether you can live with that population. If you do replant, do you recommend treating the seed? Yeah, it, it, it probably, if you are going to re replant, you do want to retreat the seed or have treated seed. There may be still some insects that can cause damage and you want to get a good stand the second time. You mentioned white grubs. Is that something to be looking, at, looking for now or in the future? No, there are some species of white grubs that uh, can cause damage now and they could cause uh, early poor stands early in the season. So uh, again, first see injury and then see what's causing the injury. Those are wireworms and white grubs are feed below ground. So you need to dig around the base of the plant or where the seed was to see what really is causing the problem. We'll link to Bob's recent Crop Watch article regarding early season insects on the Market Journal website for more information on scouting and treatment options. 